today is Monday, June 27, 2011. My name is Kadri and you are watching Heavy Metal News Weekly. So let's get started with this week's news. So firstly about Scottish uh, folk power metal band Alastorm. And uh, Alastorm has released uh, their new album Back Through Time and this is their third album and this third album Back Through Time sold around 1200 copies in the United States in its first week of release and debuted at number 24 on the top new artist albums chart which lists the best selling albums by new and developing artists defined as those who have never appeared in the Billboard 200 chart. Back through time entered the German media control chart at position number 42 and the CD was produced by Lasse Lammert at LSD Studios in Lübeck, Germany. And the effort was made available as a jewel case, media book, LP and special edition box set featuring bonus tracks and other things. Finnish record label Spine Farm Records will celebrate its 20th anniversary by organizing a summer camp in July where members of various bands signed to the company, including those from Shining, Moon Sorrow, Swallow the Sun, Finn Troll, Medea and Densiferum, will collaborate with each other in creating and recording new songs. The resulting album, uh, tentatively titled Spine Farm All Stars, uh, will be released before the end of the year. The West Midlands of England, which has been the global home to bands such as Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin and Napalm Death, is celebrating its heavy rock heritage through a new project called Home of Metal. Home of Metal, celebrating music from Burning Birmingham and the Black Country, is one of a kind exhibit celebrating 40 years of heavy metal and its unique birthplace. And the exhibition runs until September 25th at the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery in Birmingham, England. And Tony Yomi of Black Sabbath commented that uh, since they were so-called inventors of this music and they came from Birmingham, it is great that uh, such thing is happening in Birmingham and it is really great for the music also. Finnish metallers Nightwish have been confirmed for the next year's edition of the 70,000 tons of metal grease which will set sail from Miami, Florida to Cayman Islands on January 23rd, 2012 and uh, return four days later. A total of 40 acts will perform on the crease. Italian rock metal band Lacuna Coil has set Dark Adrenaline as the title of their new album which is tentatively due out in October via Century Media Records. The f this is the follow-up to their 2009's Shallow Life and the new album Dark Adrenaline is once again uh, being produced by Don Gilmore and this time the band is recording the album in their native country Italy to help focus on the more personal nature of the new material. Legendary heavy metal singer Ozzy Osbourne uh, uh, was supposed to headline Saturday's pa uh, this past Saturday's uh, uh, grass pop metal meeting, but uh, he suffered from severe laryngitis and his doctor ordered him 72 hours of vocal rest before uh, further evaluation and uh, Ozzy commented that he was very looking forward to performing at the legendary Crash Pop Metal meeting and it really made him sad that he had to let the people down uh, because he knows that he has great fans in Belgium. For the final news, since the news are a bit short today uh, I wanted to give you an update of uh, what kind of new releases are uh, coming out. So um, on June 26th, which was yesterday, uh, Gawan's album Goo was released. 
Then today uh, are being released two albums. One is Bifrost's new album of death, and the second is Iced Earth's Festival of the Wicked DVD. Then tomorrow, tomorrow on 28th of June, Faces of Bayon, Bayon's album Heart of the Fire will be released, and also Queen's Rears Dedicated to Chaos will be released. Then on 29th of June, Azarhat's new album Plasmaverse Maledictions will be released. Then on July 1st, uh, Agora releases its new album Regresa al Vertigo, and Der Weg Einer Freiheit releases an EP titled Agony. Uh, also, Lockup releases Necropolis Transparent and uh, Stone Lake. Uh, releases Marching on Timeless Tales and uh, lastly on 1st of July on the 1st of July lastly Blood Soaked releases their new album The Death of Hope then on 4th of July Unearth will release Darkness in the Light and on the 5th of July Exhumed will release their new album All Guts No Glory so these were the news for the for this week I hope you like them and thank you so much for all the comments, uh, for subscribing and most of all for watching my videos and supporting me. And uh, please check back on Wednesday for the shout out to new bands which I am finally doing. And uh, again I am reminding you that if you have suggestions for the shout out to new bands then please leave me a message and I will put your band in the shout out to new bands and uh, this is it check back on Wednesday and again thank you very much for watching bye